بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا اسٹرکچر انجینئرنگ سافٹ ویئر اپلیکیشن کلاس لیکچر نمبر 13 این ٹوڈے لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا جیو اسٹوڈیو سافٹ ویئر اینڈ سلوپ اسٹیبلٹی انالیسز بائی یوزنگ دا سلوپ ڈبلیو فیچر آف جیو اسٹوڈیو سافٹ ویئر اوکے دا لیکچر آؤٹ لائنس آر آبجیکٹو آف دا لیکچر اوور ویو آف جیو اسٹوڈیو سافٹ ویئر دین اپلیکیشن آف سلوپ ڈبلیو دین سلوپ ڈبلیو پروسیجر then example on slope stability analysis by using slope w feature of geo studio then at the end uh, class task is given for student practice lecture objective by the end of this lecture the student will be able to perform slope stability analysis in geo studio okay our you are geo studio geo studio is used for solving slope stability and other geo technical related analysis uh, that include analyzing the stability of natural and man-made earth slopes analysis of confined and unconfined steady state seepage problems analysis of linear elastic settlement and stress distribution problems tracking of contaminants within groundwater flow analysis of freeze and thaw problems and one dimensional widows zone and soil cover analysis Uh, Geo Studio Basic Edition includes the following elementary features for different kind of analysis like slope w seep w sigma w quick w temp w setron w air w and widows w now i will discuss each feature one by one in upcoming slide okay slope w is used for slope stability analysis where it compute the factor of safety of earth and rock slopes sigma w is a finite element cat software product uh, that can be used to perform stress and deformation analysis of earth structures and seep w is also a finite element cat software product for analyzing uh, ground water seepage and excess pore water pressure dissipation problem with an porous material such as soil and rock and quick w is a geotechnical finite element care software product for the dynamic analysis of earth structure that is subjected to the earthquake shaking or point dynamic forces from blast or a sudden impact load temperature w is a finite element care software product for analyzing thermal changes in the ground due to environmental factors or the construction of facilities such as building or pipeline Ctron W is a finite element care software product that can be used to model the movement of contamination through porous material such as soil and rock. Air W is the finite element care software product for analyzing groundwater air interaction problem within porous material such as soil and rock. Similarly, Widows W uh, is a finite element care software product for analyzing flow from the environment across the ground surface. through the unsaturated widow zone and into the local ground water regime okay in today lecture i will just only discuss the application of slope w feature of geo studio slope w can be effectively analyze both simple and complex problem for variety of slip surface shape pore water pressure condition soil property analysis method and loading conditions okay in slope w Uh, limit equilibrium method will be used and it can model heterogeneous soil types complex stratigraphic and slip surface geometry and variable pore water pressure condition using a large selection of soil and soil model okay the limit equilibrium methods include morgan strand price spencer bishop ordinary and jambo and many more methods are included okay in slope w uh, different soil strength models are available Uh, includes uh, the mohr coulomb spatial mohr coulomb bilinear undrained anisotropic strength shear or normal function and in many types of strength function slope stability analysis can be performed using the deterministic or probabilistic input parameters stresses computed uh, by a finite element stress analysis may be used in addition to the limit equilibrium computation for most complete slope stability analysis available slope w is formulated in terms of moment and force equilibrium factor of safety equation okay the following or methodology will be adopted while working 
in slope W feature of Geo Studio for slope stability analysis. The methodology is divided into three steps. Step one is a definition view, step two is soil manager, and step three is post processing or result view. In step one, a we will define different materials and other property, including uh, create a new project, uh, define analysis, set view or grid preferences option or units, sketch axis line or any other object, define materials, draw region and materials, define pore water pressure, draw slip surfaces and contours. In step two, uh, we will just perform analysis, and in step three, we will display different result like slope stability. Uh, in term of factor of safety and uh, critical slip information right uh, in the form of slip uh, slice information then uh, different uh, result in the form of graph and report now i will discuss how to solve slope stability example given in this slide by using slope w in the example uh, the slope it is made of uh, two different materials and the materials property is given below uh, along with isometric line okay the following procedure will be used in order to solve uh, the example in slope w feature of geo studio in definition view first step is to define a new project then define analysis then set a views grid or preferences option and set units then sketch axis line or any other element that required and then modify any line axis if required then define materials then draw region then draw materials and then define and draw pore water pressure and then draw slip surfaces and contours in step 2 uh, the example or this the problem will be solved and in step 3 is a result view where different result will be this now i will discuss each step uh, in upcoming slide first step is to create a new project right when you open your uh, geo studio software so this window will appear from here you will click on the new so this another window will appear where you will set your page size when you click on the create so it will switch you to the uh, second step that is define analysis so this window will appear first of all you will set your project name and other name then you will add analysis type from this add tab right when you click on the add tab so this window will appear from here you will choose slope w analysis and in slope w you will choose limit equilibrium then the analysis uh, type will be added in the project uh, with the name slope stability when you click on uh, this particular analysis type so uh, analysis uh, different parameters will open where you can uh, set different information like you can change the name of analysis right then analysis type uh, we have different analysis type so in the lecture i will discuss only morgan strain price analysis matter in the setting tab uh, we can change the side function and we will keep it half sign then in pore water pressure condition you will choose piezometric line and similarly we will define unit weight of water and slip surface tab of uh, analysis type we will set direction of movement of the slip surface in uh, our example it is from left to right and then we set uh, the slip surface option entry and exit okay once analysis is defined so this graphic user interface of slope w will be appeared where the top bar is called the title bar and beneath the title bar it is a main menu bar and beneath main menu bar there is a standard toolbar and below standard toolbar there is a drawing tools and at uh, left side here there is a project information is given at this location manager uh, where you can start your uh, analysis and this is the drawing area where you can uh, draw your uh, model or slope 
and this is the status bar where you can check uh, the coordinates of any point and from here you can zoom in and zoom out your model and you can also set your scale and this right side uh, toolbar is actually uh, view option right where different view options are available okay uh, the main menu of uh, geo studio uh, include uh, the file where different option are given where you can add new project open or close or you can save and save as your file and edit view you can undo and redo or copy paste your model in view option you can uh, check object information and you can create a report and you can set your unit grids and you can also uh, access zooming option and different preferences option in define menu you can define uh, different information like you can define analysis you can define region points materials similarly you can uh, define slip surface and you can define pour water pressure and many other information and in draw menu you can draw your region point slip surface pour water pressure and materials and you can also draw contours in sketch menu you can sketch line circle arcs text table picture and you can also sketch axis and you can also draw dimension as well in modify menu you can modify any object okay in window menu you can switch to to the definition view result view page layout view and you can also access solve manager in help menu you you can take any kind of help from this menu now coming toward step 3 in definition view where you can set your grid unit and other preferences option and it can be accessed from the view menu when you click on the view then grid so this window will appear from here you can set your grid spacing long x and y direction and you can also uh, control your display option from here similarly you can set your units for that go to view and click on the unit so this window will appear from here you can set your different units similarly you can also uh, set your different preferences option again go to view and click on the preferences so this window will appear from here you can set your geometry preferences you can set your slope w option you can set your line thickness uh, you can set your meshes sketches and also you can set your font size and style now step 4 is to sketch and modify uh, axis or line so first of all uh, sketch axis for that go to sketch then click on axis so this window will appear where you can set the axis title along x and y direction and you can set your minimum and maximum values along x and y direction and you can also set uh, the increment size in the both direction and for the given example i will set minimum value to 0 and maximum 40 meter an increment size will be 5 mm along x direction for along y direction minimum will be 0 maximum will be 15 and increment size will be 1 m so this uh, axis will be drawn once uh, the axis is sketched then i will sketch uh, the slope given in the example by using the line command in the sketch for that i will go to sketch and then choose line right so this window will appear okay in this window i can draw a line by using uh, two different points where i will enter x and y coordinate for a specific point okay these are the different points coordinates along x and y direction if we want to draw uh, this line right we will enter uh, the coordinates for these two points uh, for this first point the coordinate will be 20 meter by 9 meter along x and y direction respectively and similarly for the second point the coordinate will be 0 and 9 and then click on close so this line will be drawn okay similarly if you want to modify or delete any object so for that go to uh, modify 
then click on the object so this window will appear from here you can select any object you want to delete or move at any other location now step 5 is to define material for that go to define then click on the materials so this window will appear so here we can define different materials in example we will define two different materials one with name lower layer and the other is upper layer for lower layer uh, you will choose uh, the material model that is mohar column then enter the unit weight cohesion and phi value step 6 is to draw region for that go to draw and click on the region so this window will appear uh, from this window choose a polygon right and then uh, select the point which comprises of a particular region right for this region 2 so it is actually uh, enclosed by 1 2 8 and 7 points similarly the first region is enclosed by 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 points okay step 7 is to draw material for that go to draw then click on the materials so this window will appear from this draw material menu you will choose a specific material and then click on Uh, any region where you want to assign that material step 8 is to define and draw pore water pressure for that go to define pore water pressure and then add a piezometer line right so this window will appear where you will define the x and y coordinates for piezometer line and the x and y coordinate for the piezometer line is given in this table okay once uh, piezometer uh, water pressure line is uh, defined then draw it for that go to draw and then choose pwp right so this window will appear from this window you can draw uh, the piezometer line and then click on done so uh, the piezometer line will be applied to the material and this is the piezometer line shown okay step 9 is to draw slip surface and contours so first draw slip surface for that go to draw then choose slip surface right so this window will appear uh, in this window you will specify the entry and exit ranges for slip surface right so these are this is the entry range and this is the exit range you can draw different contours for uh, different properties uh, like uh, water total head phi value cohesion unit weight pore water pressure and pressure head so for that go to draw then click on the contours right so this window will appear from this window you can choose uh, any property to draw a contour for that and this is the tot water total head contour okay once the model is completed now it is ready for analysis so for that uh, go to solve manager so uh, the solution will be started right okay once the solution is completed so it will give you the most critical uh, slip path or surface having factor of safety and beside uh, the critical slip surface it will give you a lot of other uh, slip surfaces having different factor of safety clearly you can display uh, the result in the form of graph for that go to uh, draw and then choose graph so this window will appear in this window you can choose different uh, x and y parameter uh, for which you want to draw a graph like you can draw a graph for strength and cohesion strength similarly you can also define it for other response and you can also view uh, slice in information for that go to view then choose slice information so it will give you uh, the stress state of uh, different uh, slice right and this is the stress distribution diagram for this particular slice and it will give you Uh, the the shear and the normal stresses and beside uh, these different stresses values it you can also check the different other values like factor of safety phi angle the cohesion pore water pressure and many other values for this particular slice and you can also generate report for that go to view and click on the report so this kind of report will be generated in the form of documents and you can uh, Uh, slope surface color map and it will give you the complete uh, uh, failure surface 
having different factor of safety and you can also set your uh, page layout so for that go to window and uh, choose the page layout so this window will appear from here you can choose the page size right and that other information related to the page like you can set your margin orientation right okay now i will solve uh, this example in geo studio by using a slope w feature okay first create a new project for that click on new right and then choose the choose the size of page then click on create so this window will appear from here uh, define um, the project title let's suppose this project one and this is the other name right then add uh, the type of analysis and we want slope w analysis by using limit equilibrium method right so the slope stability uh, type of analysis is added so from here we can uh, change the name of the analysis right then we can change the analysis type so i will use the morganston price method right then in the setting tab so i will choose a side function is a half sign and then pw2 condition will be piezometric line right then uh, check the slip surface so the slip surface direction is from left to right it is okay and the slip surface option will be entry and exit and it is okay similarly you can set your other values like uh, factor of safety distribution by different method so i we will use constant method then in advance we can set different uh, minimum slip surface depth then we can set the number of slices and many other information so i will keep the other information as by default so then i click on close so slope stability analysis is defined now i will set units for that go to view and then click on units so we will use uh, the length meter uh, unit in the meter and mass will be in the kg and force will be in kilonewton right then i will set grids and i will keep the grid spacing along x and the y direction is 1 meter right uh, then i will uh, sketch axis for that go to sketch then choose axis right so the elevation is in meter and this is in also in meter right so in x direction the minimum value will be let's suppose minus 2 and the maximum will be 40 and i will change the increment and the increment along x direction will be to similarly uh, along y direction so i will start from minus 2 and the maximum will be 15 and the increment will be 1 right then click on close so x is defined now we will sketch uh, the slope geometry uh, by following the x and y axis for that go to sketch and choose line now we will enter uh, x and y coordinate for each line to draw the slope geometry as given in example so the first point will draw first line so the x and y coordinate for first line is 0 14 and 10 14 then click on close so this is line is drawn then again i will draw another line so for that the x coordinate is 10 and the y is 14 
and next point is 29 right then again we will draw another line so the first point coordinates are 29 and the second is 0 9 right then we will close this region so for that uh, first point coordinate is 0 9 and the second point coordinate is 0 14 so it is closed now we will draw next point for the next point coordinates are 20 9 then 30 4 then we will draw next line it will be 30 4 40 4 right then we will draw next line so for that the points are 44 and 40 0 then we will draw next line so the coordinates for that is 40 0 and next point is 0 0 right then again the final line is at location 0 0 and at location 0 9 right so the slope sketch is completed now we will draw region for that go to draw then choose region right then we will select different points in order to draw a region okay in this example we have two region this is one and the second one is this one because in both region the materials property are different right regions are drawn now next is to define materials property for that go to define then click on the materials then add material so first of all enter upper mid upper layer right then choose a mohar column material model so for the up, upper layer the unit weight is 17 cohesion is 4 and 5 value is 20 similarly i will add the lower layer For that the unit weight is 18, cohesion is 8 and 5 value is 25. So the material is defined. Now next is to, do, to draw materials. For that go to draw and then click on the materials. First of all choose the upper material layer then select the upper layer and then choose the lower layer material and then assign to the lower region so material is assigned to upper and lower region ok now i will define uh, pore water pressure for that go to define then pore water pressure so here i will add the pore water pressure and i will enter x and y coordinate for that so the first point it 0 10 then second point is 16 8 third point is 24 7 and the last point at 47 okay uh, once the pore water pressure defined then we will draw it 
or that go to draw pore water pressure so then click on done right so the pore water pressure is and it is represented by uh, this dashed line now next is to draw a slip surface for that go to draw choose slip surface and then enter and exit so from here i will define the ranges for entry and exit this is the entry and let's suppose this is exit okay we can also draw uh, a contours for that go to draw and click on contours and we can display uh, different contours for water tip total water head five value unit weight pore water pressure pressure head and we can also display or show legends right now our model is ready for analysis for that go to uh, solve manager area and click on start and then save the file so the solution is started okay solution is completed it will give you the most critical slip surface right this white color surface shows the most critical surface and it has factor of safety value 1.311 right similarly you can display the other slip surface right by clicking on any slip number right but 363 slip number is a critical one okay you can uh, view the slice information or that go to view and then click on the slice information okay so this will give you uh, the stress uh, diagram for a particular slice right and uh, along with the stress diagram it will also display the other results like phi angle the cohesion pore water pressure and other values also display uh, the slip surface color map for that go to draw then choose slip surface color map right from here you can display all different slip surfaces right and you can also draw a select slip surface right and this will give you the factor of safety and the radius for this particular slip and you can a graph for that go to draw and click on the graph right so this window will appear from here you can uh, draw graph between any parameters like if you want to draw for the strength and uh, friction strength right either along x or for distance and for slice right and you can uh, copy this graph data and you can copy this graph as a image as well and you can also add another graph so from here right and you can uh, change the name of this graph let's suppose it is strength versus cohesive strength right so from here you can choose the value accordingly right and you can also label your contours for from here click on uh, draw contour label and then click on any contour so it will give you the value of this contour similarly you can also delete it by click on the label so it will be deleted okay this is all about uh, how to analyze a uh, slope stability uh, in geo studio by using slope w feature now class practice task task number 1 resolve the cross section given below for slope stability by considering the other uh, limit equilibrium method like ordinary bishop uh, jenbo and spencer like task 2 is to solve the cross section given below for slope stability 
and consider the data given in slide number 12. So thank you very much. This is all about lecture number 13.